Hello, my name is Josiah Ray. I'm going to show you how to merge points in Blender. A very handy tool if you're doing anything from like a cube modeling, where you start from a cube and you model outward, which I do a lot, it's pretty simple. Or uh, combining objects, so you've got a couple different models that you'd like to put into one model. It helps you seal those edges together. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So here I am inside of Blender, and I've got this pretty cool looking sword created. And if I go into the, uh, the perspective view, I'm going to hold down Control, Alt, and then press Q with my mouse hovered over that view. I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button and kind of pivot around this. You can see that the blade tip, all those vertices come together to one point. And so I'm going to kind of demonstrate how to do that real quick using the hilt area. So we're going to select our object. And down inside of our view mode, we're going to come down to wireframe so that we can kind of see through everything. And instead of object mode, we're going to go to edit mode. Now, it's already defaulted to selecting the vertices, which is kind of what I wanted to do. I'm going to go back to the orthographic views, which is a fancy way of saying I can see four different views at once. It's a fast way to move around a 3D space. So again, just Control, Alt, Q, kind of toggles me back out. I'm going to come up to this, this top view. I'm going to make that big and zoom in with the mouse wheel and then hold down shift and hold the mouse wheel and, and move my cursor so I can slide the view back to where I want it. And you can see that we've got these two vertices here. Now if I push C, it gives me this little circle around my cursor. I'm going to click on just that vertice and right click the mouse to stop selecting. But if I come out of this, back to the orthographic view, you can see in the front view or even in the perspective view that I've actually selected two vertices and the reason I did this was because I had it in wireframe mode which is awesome that's what I wanted to do instead of selecting just one there were two right on top of each other so I clicked on one and the one underneath it at the same time because they were exactly aligned so it's a kind of a quick way to select multiple vertices like that now that I've got them selected, I'm going to press and hold Alt and push M. And this brings up our merge menu. And we can do several different things with it. As you can see, we can merge them at the center. We can merge them wherever the cursor is. Or we can do this crazy thing called collapse. I'm going to merge at the center. And this is really what you're going to use most often, especially if you're modeling knife blades or sword blades, stuff like that. You want them to kind of come together in the middle of the blade so that it's really uh, symmetrical all the way down. So I'm going to click at center. And if I pivot around this a little bit, you can kind of see that the vertices have indeed merged together using the space between them as their sort of ending point. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to merge vertices in Blender. I'm Josiah Ray.